industry has changed. There's uh, across the globe environmental acknowledgement of the need for environmental uh, performance and there's established uh, rules to achieve this, whether it's in uh, standards, valve standards, but also legislation which is imposed on um, people who use our valves, our customers and, and users. And we have to meet uh, the demand to serve our customers. One of the important uh, challenges, goals we set to ourselves is to be able to certify our valves in a, to both API and ISO fugitive emission requirements. Our commitment to fugitive emissions uh, date back a very long time ago. As early as the uh, 1970s, we developed innovative packing uh, solutions for the nuclear industry and have been committed to fugitive emissions innovations ever since. So we have it now in every aspect of our business and every market we serve. The passion goes far for many of us because it also helps us reduce our footprint on the planet. Well, we have right now two fugitive emissions programs running in parallel. We have two fugitive emissions labs and we have dedicated three people full-time to fugitive emissions testing, which includes uh, qualifications to industry standard as well as R&D innovative work. So this includes a lab where we do large valve cycling and qualification and as well as the second lab where we do medium to small size range. My name is Alexander Kraus. I am R&D technician at VLAN. I'm working on fugitive emissions since the API 624 standard is out. For example, top entries, unibodies, split bodies. We also chose TTOV valves, which are tested in Montreal because of their size. The advantage on doing in-house testing is that we learn more about our valves. That gave us the opportunity to say, okay, we learn everything about the valve from the small to the big size. 624 and 641 standard at the moment they allow us not more than 100 ppm methane leakage. The goal is right away to be under 50 ppm and that with a very good packing without over compressing our packing rings. So the end user doesn't have too many problems to operate his valves. The VLAN goal is to have an off-shelf quality. It's not enough just to qualify uh, to serve the customer's needs but also to go beyond that and figure out what is it that the customer really needs in the field when it comes to valve performance. In the field, we have to acknowledge that valves do leak, especially when you have tens of thousands of valves, statistically speaking, this does happen. And customers need to mitigate or stop this leakage. Uh, and the least expensive, the simplest approach to stop such a leakage is to increase the compression of the packing by retorquing the packing gland. This is where our recipe looks at all the parameters that is significant for the end user, for the customer in the field. Too often in the industry, unfortunately, the approach is to use high Teflon content packing combined with very high torques, or rather high packing compression, which ends up limiting the amount of extra compression the customer can apply in the field. We also perform API 622 tests for ambient and temperature corrosion, and we've achieved zero corrosion indications in both of those tests. Every improvement we bring to our business, whether it be in uh, operational excellence, product design, is really about making sure that we meet or exceed our customers' needs. My name is Yves Leduc. I'm the CEO and President of Valen. We're proud to offer dual certified valves off the shelf and we've worked hard for this. We'll be able to uh, meet both ISO and API fugitive emissions requirements. My name is Vahin Nigerian. I'm the corporate manager of R&D and technology at Valen. Fugitive emissions is a core component of our reputation, our product reputation in the field, and we continue investing in it, uh, making it a priority.